Hello YouTube, thanks for watching. Today we're going to show you how the new rendering system works in Mosaic software. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to pick a job that's already built. Let's just simplify this. So you go, I'm just going to pick this one here because it's already got some textures and stuff in there. So we're going to go products and check out the kitchen view. So I'm going to go 3D. As you can see, you have a better 3D system in general. So what we're trying to do here is get it to render. Before I do that, I wanna show you a few important things just so you can see with Mosaic 14 what might be causing you issues and how to solve them. So I'm gonna X out of there. I'm gonna to go to material materials okay so what's important to see here is if you go to textures and this whole menu is a whole new animal so you know we're still sort of transitioning stuff from the old system to the new system it's definitely going to be a bit of a journey to get there but um, one important factor is, so you have this, say you have this texture right here, tobacco cherry. If you have this image width set at 24 by 24, it's not going to really stretch across the part. And I'm going to select that one on something so you can see what I'm talking about. So tobacco cherry is the, the texture. And then I'm going to change it to another one. And I'm going to change that to 96 by 48 okay okay so let's say I take this guy here and I go materials I'm going to change my texture to tobacco cherry. While we wait for that to update, maybe it wants me to update the cabinet material. Yeah, it must be. Okay, so tobacco cherry. Okay, you can see how it's got this split here. So the texture is actually uh, has a size that it's showing right uh, in that menu. So if you set it at 24, you're going to have a bunch of splits in all your panels. So what I like to do is set that at, we'll go to the other one there. I think it was this one. Set that at 96 and that way that texture fully stretches across your part in a way that would be relevant to where your current if you're if say example I have a 4 by 8 CNC machine I have to make a joint or get really creative if I want to make pieces longer than that so if I show that split in there it kind of gives you a bit of a safety net when you're talking to clients so in materials Texture groups, set this and that. I suppose technically they all should be 48 by 96. I'm not going to worry about that right now, but just for reference there, that's one thing to consider. Now, if you're rendering, what you need to do is set your view port, what you're seeing in this window here, what you want to have for the rendering. Let's say I want to do um, 
like a view of the island. Something like that. Then you're going to hit save here. And I'm going to add, call it island. Okay, then you're going to do another one. You can see up here you've created a new view that is island. And if you click it, it'll bring you back there. There's other ways that's helpful as well. I'm just going to hit save. I'll just call that south wall. And then perhaps this east wall. Oops. And then we'll just do a cool little rendering of the chairs because they're kind of cool. We're not doing any renderings right now. All we're doing is saving those views. So really you can go back to them if you want to. Oh, island view. Oh, chairs view. Okay, so then you're going to hit render. We're going to pick through these here. And if you hold control on the keyboard, you can add them in there. And then you're going to hit render. This is where you need your Syncly account. Close your eyes. Okay, then it's automatically pushing it to the cloud and the rendering happens remotely. It doesn't actually happen on your computer, so you need to be connected to the internet. You can see it's currently uploading. I'm going to give you real time how long it takes. Wait, that's a bad idea. It's going to take forever. Okay, I'm going to take note of how many, well, how long is this taking? Not terribly long. We'll check back in a second. I'm going to set a timer right now. Okay, so that took about five minutes for them to all upload, render, and then come back to me. Um, so yeah, you can view through your, your different renderings. I think the rendering engine is quite good. You know, it's as good as, you know, I could ever expect or ask for. So, you know, I can't see any reason why you wouldn't want to use it. It's quite reasonably priced at, I think, 50 bucks or something like that. Um, so you can view them in the folder, and it'll open that folder uh, showing you these different uh, images here and then you can transfer them to wherever you need them to go. You can save the current view in a different folder if you want. Um, you can go to these rendering settings. I didn't personally mess with this at all uh, but I mean if you're really into that you can go through this and play with these different you know photo type settings. I don't know how they work really. I just hit OK, go. And that's this is the rendering that I got. I think that's totally acceptable for my use. So I'll probably just use that. And uh, yeah, so that's basically how this new cloud rendering system works. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, feel free to drop a like, subscribe to our channel, use Millwork Scanner. I got a huge update coming out soon. I'm really grinding it out. It's going to be uh, massive, massive update. I, originally I was working on using a laser measure just to draw on images and stuff. Now I've totally gone with, uh, expanded it out and I've got a 2D view from the top view that you, you'll be able to use a laser measure to measure the wall distances and upload ready to build rooms into Mosaic. It's going to be, it's going to take Millwork Scanner from a good app to a legendary app that you all need to have. So when I make that video and I release that, everybody go get it. It's going to be 
awesome. Like it's already really good, but it's just gonna take it to the next level. Um, for anyone that's doing quotes and stuff like that, it's gonna change. It's gonna change your life. Go do that. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Have a great one. We'll talk soon. If you're eager to dive deeper into Mosaic, enhance your shop, or explore the possibilities with CNC routers and 3D printing, you're in the right place. Your feedback drives our content, so subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials and tips. Watch out for our next video.